Hello, welcome back to my video for Pokemon Crystal. Today, we're going to be going for the Moonstone. A Moonstone can be attained throughout various areas of the game, but this is how you more or less get infinite Moonstones, by farming wild Clefairies. Each Clefairy has a 25% encounter rate. Each Clefairy individually has a 2% encounter rate of actually holding the Moonstone you're after. You need a Pokemon that was Thief, which you can reference in some of my other videos that I post on this channel, including some of the ones about getting... Um, the Metal Coat or King's Rock, for example. I go a little bit more in depth there. But for Pokemon Those Thief on our party, we're going to start in Pewter City. This is exclusive to the post game, so a little bit late. And the Repel ran out, which is nice. So it is recommended you have a Pokemon of Those Fly. Uh, again, helps you get out of here much faster than having to walk. But on our way here, you will have to battle some trainers if this is your first time going into this area. But you will hear some nostalgic music, which is always nice. Actually, I had to watch my own video how to find Clefairy because I forgot where the 25% encounter rate area was. But regardless, with a 2% encounter rate of having, or 2% chance of having a Moonstone each one, it's not a terribly difficult hunt to have. It should be relatively fast every four encounters. You do that by times 50, about 200 encounters, and you should get uh, a Moonstone, which isn't crazy. Anyway, we're, maybe, I don't know, my math isn't good. Anyway, we're going to save here. It's recommended so you use up the PP on your Pokemon Steve. And then you just reset when you run out, and it's easy, basically, farm this unlimited time. So, let's go into the first encounter. And get get the Moonstone. Or I just won't get into an encounter. That's also an option. Oh! That's a Moonstone! I missed it, because I was super speeding the game. But that was a Moonstone. So a few comments to make because I obviously found this within the first encounter, quote unquote, because I edit my videos in a way that makes it easy for you guys to view. But a few comments that I found out while doing this. One thing, Clefairies have the ability to, or not the ability, but Clefairies have the opportunity to hold a Mystery Berry. That Mystery Berry, I think, is somewhere between like the 22 to 25% range. So you're more than likely going to get a lot of those. Make sure you take it off of your Pokemon that you are using this Teeth method with, or else you cannot steal another item from the Clefairy. So you'll basically be missing the opportunity to get Moonstones under those circumstances. So maybe once in a while, check. This one took me about... Well, this was my fifth reset, so it was at least somewhere between 65 or 70 clefairies i had to kill to get this which is again it's about one in 50 chance of actually getting a moonstone so if you're some sort of weird perfectionist and then like you listen to the rules uh yes you'd have to do it like this is the best way to get moonstones or you can just glitch them or find them in alternative methods out in the wild one last comment to make is make sure you're hunting when it's night in your game you can just go outside and check as you saw at the beginning of the year it was dark out this gives Clefairy a 25% chance of being found versus the 5% chance it would originally have without it being nighttime. So making that a significant part of this method, making it so much easier. Anyway, that's a Moonstone. Let me know if you want any other comment or comment, any other content from Pokemon Crystal. I really enjoy making these videos for this game. I'm going to try making some sort of shiny hunting related one, just showing you guys how broken emulators are. But again, that's just a thought I had. I don't know how far ahead I can get a hold or I can get a go with that one. But anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for whatever I was next. See you. Bye.